decaf wouldn't help there. Mmm, thanks. I needed a little pick-me-up. <coughs> Must open safe. Must sign contract. Must provide for family. Dr. Fred Edison, Internal Revenue, come with us. We'd like to go over some of your records with you, upstairs. Dr. Fred Edison, Internal Revenue, come with us. Did you say you have a PP-41 facilities paraphernalia declaration over there? Nope. I, what is it? What have you done with Dr. Fred? We've got him safely locked in the next room while we go over his books. No, you can't go in and see him. And don't even think about staging some kind of rescue. Are you guys brothers? At the IRS, we're all brothers. I'll just be moseying along. Keep your nose clean, kid. Did you say you have a PP-41 facilities paraphernalia declaration over there? I'm sorry to do this to you, little fella, but it's for the future of the whole planet. Let's see, it's 101-999-57. The party of the first part shall hereby be known as a crazed maniacal genius. Dr. Fred must still be asleep. I 
Oh. Hey. Who's this, Doc? Relative? Well, I'm sure we can audit him next. This isn't a party. mistake again. <laughs> Oof! Dr. Fred, are you okay? Dr. Fred? I'd better get him to the lab. Well, I got him in here, but he's out cold. for you to sign, Doctor. Sorry, I don't like to sign things that I haven't read. Oh, forget it. I'll get rid of Purple Tentacle myself. Oh, yeah? How? I'm starting up a petition to ban all tentacles. Wow! Where do I sign? Right here. <laughs> Well, good luck!
Yes, what do you want? Hi there, is this Dr. Fred Edison? Who did you think you called? Dr. Spock? Look, I don't have all day. This is Farley Crock at LucasArts Games. I just discovered your contract among some very old files, and, well, our lawyers say that we uh, have to pay you $2 million in back royalties uh, for the use of your family in the Maniac Mansion video game. What? This is Farley Crock. No, I heard that, you moron. When do I get my money? Oh, right now. It's been credited to your Swiss bank account. Operator, get me a travel agent. This is an emergency! Wow, Dr. Fred's rich! Potato Shopping Channel, Wanda speaking. Uh, I want to buy a diamond. That will be two million dollars. Do you have a major credit card? Um, I have a numbered Swiss bank account. What's the number, sir? Um, it's 846-427-35327. Very good, sir. We'll send the diamond by Pronto Post Lightspeed Delivery immediately. Thank you for calling. Now that's service. I'd better get this to Dr. Fred right away. That should do it. Where did you get this diamond anyway? Uh, it was donated by a group of Girl Scouts who were in the neighborhood. How heartwarming. Can we bring back my friends now? We've repaired the primary device, but before we can do anything, both time pods must be energized as well. Then we can bring back uh, what's his name and who's her face. Hoagie and Laverne. Yes, fine specimens. And so I said to her, that's not my suction cup. <laughs> you think that's funny? Hey, anybody care for a bribe? What do you think we are, human? Ha ha ha! Human. Ha ha ha! When are you guys going to judge best hair? Oh, all right. Wow, for a mummy, that's some great looking hair. Yes, it has a certain meatiness. But does it have stars and lightning bolts? No, Harold is still the best. But if Harold were to say, drop dead, I'd give first place to the mummy. Agreed. Oh, 
Harold, that's gross. What are you babbling about? You really should have told the judges if you weren't feeling well. Oh, ick! Now, how did that mess get in there? I think I'm going to be sick. Someone in here not feeling well. I was feeling fine until I saw that. Is that your regurgitation? No, I'm an healthy human. Didn't you just say you thought you were going to be sick? That's just a figure of speech. Do you realize you could have infected the whole show with human influenza? But I just got all my shots. You're a good-looking human, Harold, but you know the rules. You're out of the show. What a mess. I hate cleaning up after humans. Hey, don't you think you should judge best hair again? Oh, all right. Wow, that's the best hair I've ever seen on a mummy. Thick and full and juicy. The mummy wins. Agreed. When are you guys going to judge best smile? Oh, all right. I like the quiet one with the big teeth. There's nothing in the rules about them being white. First place goes to the mummy. Agree. Hey, when are you guys going to judge best laughing? <laughs> oh, all right. Okay, who's got a joke? Hey, I just flew in from Baltimore, and boy, are my suction cups tired. <laughs> a classic. It's amazing how the mummy can do that without moving his lips. I say we give him first place. Agree. Well, that makes him best of show. Let's go congratulate him. He is very well preserved. I'll miss his laugh. It's time to give him his winnings and start packing up. We gotta get this whole show to Baltimore by Thursday. Yes, our work here is done.